I don't remember doing anything. No, not you! Me! You. The things they did to me. I never fought back. I curled up and waited for it to go away. For someone else to save me. But... Someone was you. Free the broken doll! <clears throat> Maybe I'll finally get a glimpse of who I was before this nightmare. Maybe now I can remember. Grab the mask. The false face is protection! It's gone. It's all gone. My past. My whole life. Withered in the vein. Oh, Krieg. <sighs> so, this is it? <sighs> Just me and you against the world, huh, man? Pity the worms. You know what? It's okay. Even if I've lost my past, once I'm out of here, I'll finally get a chance to forge my own future. I think we're done here. Whenever you're ready, Vault Hunter. Pretty lady! Pretty lady! memory. Go see if you can help him.
to it. For the record, I will still be monitoring your every move. spent a lot of time in this cell, staring at these blank walls or walking across the cold floor dreading what was gonna happen next. Now that the big guy's free of his cage, he's got some ideas about how to change the decor and our feelings about this place. You want the place to reflect who you are and create a new headspace. Literally. I get that. How can I help? Screening the hem with our vileness! No other! Yeah, that's a good place to start. Whoever was here before us left some really creepy art on the wall. Can you help get rid of it? At night, I swear there are voices coming from that spot. All day we obsess about whether it hears us, too. Whoa, okay, I definitely heard something. Maybe we leave the wall alone, or just paint over it. Trap the rats outside! I'm pounding the swallowed! Something tells me this is about to get violent. Better keep going or we'll never be able to sleep again. Well, I feel vindicated. We weren't wrong. There were voices inside the walls listening and planning our demise.
Given everything that just happened, is it strange I'm most interested in where the hell that plant came from? Tawanda! Huh? We called our last friend in this place Tawanda. She was someone to talk to. She made us feel safer. A warm taster to chomp my mind at a time, <laughs> Tawanda! <laughs> Thank you. Tawanda will be good company. Sometimes good things come from bad places, like possessed walls. And if she can survive in here, it's a reminder that we can too. Roger that. Anything else I can do to help? A great chasm! Open your fist and ply the exploits! Pretty sure he has some other ideas. What else do you have in mind? Some window treatments wouldn't hurt. Like a smart fish screams. <sighs> drown them, drown them dry. Every night our neighbor sings. Not only does he keep us up, but he's a terrible singer. <sighs> I'd be lying if I said I hadn't spent countless nights fantasizing about his demise. Yes, yes! Drown them dry! Operation Quiet the Neighbor is a go. Won't you hear my plea? Oh, come save me! From this misery, so I can be happy. Excuse me? <clears throat> me? I'm with Resident Services? Your cell neighbor has issued a complaint. I wonder if you could sing a little quieter, or maybe even stop altogether. The days are dreary. Without my sweetie, oh please save me, my darling. Uh, e I'm gonna level with you. I'm not with resident services. I'm a badass with a gun, and I need you to stop all the racket. Now. Come at me. I guess that's a no. Mercy! Mercy! I'm sorry. I overreacted. I shouldn't have come at you like that. My rage overcame me. I know my singing isn't perfect, but it's one of the few things that gets me through the day. No one said you can't ever sing. Just don't try to entertain the whole cell block. Keep it to yourself, you know? A little treasure just for you. Yes, quite right. Listen, as an apology for my behavior, will you give Krieg something for me? I smuggled in these party lights. I'd like him to have them as a peace offering. You can count on me. Oh, one more thing before you go. Let Krieg know I've been working on a batch of toilet wine. When it's ready, he can come have a taste. <laughs> sure, no problem. I'll tell him. Blister bulbs? Affirmative. He also wants you to try his... <sighs> toilet wine. I can hardly wait. My liver is alive with bile. Honestly, I feel like an ass. Edric isn't all bad. It's just easy to perceive everyone as a threat when you're in a threatening place. These lights and the, uh... Poop drink! ...will remind us to hold on to our belief in human goodness. And look, the party lights really do cheer up the place. The music, on the other hand, really clashes with the new vibe. Bum 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 to... Chica chica chica! Sure, yeah, like that. Do you think you could help change the song to something a little less impending doom and a little more? Chica, 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 chica! 
Yes, I think that's entirely within my skill set. What's my target? There's an intercom hooked up to the computer system near the caretaker's office. You can use this to change the music. Here. That's a memory of us enjoying the music. If you insert it into the computer, you should be able to reinstall the playlist. Target sighted. Ted! Our doom and gloom playlist isn't having the desired effect on our... patience. Sorry, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, perhaps I could make a suggestion. I'm listening. Instead of doom and gloom, let's replace it with a party mode. We'll tell them we're going to treat them to something special. Dangle a bit of hope in front of them, so to speak. Go on. And then we play music so upbeat, they'll be begging for doom and gloom. What do you have in mind? Ska, sir. Oh, oh, you're evil, Ted! I didn't know you had it in you! Party mode activated. All right, I hope that did it. <laughs> that did the trick. They only ever played this music into the cells one time. It must not have had the desired effect. Chick a chick, chick a chick, music to scum to! What can I say? We love Ska. Hearing it makes us feel hopeful. That feeling could change so much here. Trip the light and it dances away! I am a bit worried, though. About the poop wine? Yeah, me too. It's just not sanitary. About the caretaker. Bloated and hard, he chews cud. Yeah, he's a real piece of work. And the next time he conducts a surprise inspection, he'll destroy all the changes we've made. And worse. It's bleeding time! I agree. The best choice is to kill him. We can keep our new things and kick him out of our headspace for good. He spends most of his time in his office, though. Can you go there and give him a reason to leave it? Make some noise and cause a ruckus? I'm your gal. Stain his similarity with gusto! Good idea. The caretaker is incredibly vain. If you vandalize the portrait outside his office, that should get his attention. <laughs> oh, that's classic. Officers, do we have a privilege? What exactly am I saying? Take care of them! I came for, but sure is fun. You know what? Inspiration strikes again. <laughs> Very distinguished. Oh, you're gonna die. <laughs> Huh? 
show you. This is personal now. <laughs> okay. Okay, bite now. Laugh later. I think I'd like to make my own contribution to Krieg's new decor. This should do. <clears throat> this is the perfect finishing piece. <clears throat> my gift to you. A reminder of a friend and of a vanquished foe. I want to rip your lungs out so hard! I've been hiding from the memories of this place for so long. Now, it's full of reminders about how we survived. Don't get me wrong, this place will never fill me with joy. But at least now it doesn't have to haunt me. Thank you. Tannis is doing, right? I keep hearing her voice inside my head. You can't imagine how disorienting that is. Man, I love hanging out with Creed. I really do. I'm always like, what but wild thing is this dude going to say next? A supple patina is not a tarnish, but a filigree. <laughs> <clears throat> 